The last living Nuremberg prosecutor passed away Friday in Boynton Beach. Ben Ferenz just turned 103 years old. He was considered a hero in the Jewish community and a leader in the quest for justice for victims of genocide. Our Suji Nam has more tonight on his life and legacy. You could have heard a pin drop um, when he was talking. There was just something about him that um, you just, you, again, you just don't forget. Michael Eagle remembers listening to Ben Ferenz speak at the Florida Holocaust Museum, inspiring many generations of lawyers. At the age of 27, the U.S. Army veteran was appointed as chief prosecutor in the Nuremberg trials. His work led to the conviction of 22 Nazis for murdering more than a million people. When I take people on tours of the museum, I actually talk about him uh, when we get to the Nuremberg trial section of the museum because he's the prison through which I teach people about the Nuremberg trials. 13 death sentences in Ferenza's war crimes case, his first case as attorney. The International Criminal Court tweeted in part, quote, Mr. Ferenza's tireless work in the service of international criminal justice will have a permanent legacy. And the legacy carries on at Alpert Jewish Family Service here in Palm Beach County. Our agency works with 200 Holocaust survivors, and the help that we're able to provide in large part is funded through something called the Claims Conference, uh, which is an organization up in New York that negotiates with Germany every year to be able to provide hundreds of millions of dollars around the world. And Ben Ferenz was, was one of the founders of that. Ferenz received several recognitions, including the Governor's Medal of Freedom and Congressional Gold Medal looked for evil and looked for ways of, of making things better. Um, I, there's not a superhero um, that I would put up against uh, Mr. Ferenz. Ferenz is survived by four children. His wife had passed away in 2019. In Palm Beach County, I'm Sujinov for WPBF 25 News.